Hi guys, it's Max here with dartsreviews.tv in association with dartsplanet.tv. We've got some ball starts for you today. we got the player Dirk van Duschen van Bode. Really looking forward to giving these a go. These are his edition twos. Really, really nice looking black and orange. Always works really, really well together. What I think we'll do, we'll go and head on over to the table. Have a closer look. Okay, so we're over at the table and we have the Bulls Dirk Van Dusen Van Bode darts. Really nice looking case with like the black and the orange outline. Image of him there, obviously Bulls logo and we've got the 24 gram. I like the little window showing the barrel with the rest of the darts sort of like printed on the box, which is really nice. Over on the back, we've got some writing here about the Dirk Van Dusen Van Bode darts, about the grip and everything. Some information about the different sections of the dart as well, and obviously the guarantee and everything. So let's get the darts out, have a closer look. And here we go. Right, so Bulls likes to give you like this little dark case, which is really, really nice. It keeps everything nice and secure in the box. Plus, if you haven't got a case or anything, you can sort of like carry it around in your pocket and you're all set, ready to go. You've got the Dusen Van Bode flights here and the darts are in a nice point protector. And let's get one out, have a closer look at the actual dart. So we'll start off at the front. We have a standard 35 millimeter black point. I do like the black points, adds a little bit more grip than the standard silver. And then we go into this tapered ringed nose here. We've got a couple of small rings at the front, then like a couple of twin rings and then standard rings as it gets to the wider point. Uh, it's a nice sort of like grippy area if that's where you also sort of like lean in your front finger on that, you really can feel it and then into the wide ring section here where it's got the orange in the middle. Uh, the grooves are quite deep and the rings are square cut, but they're not too sharp, which is nice. So you're not catching your finger or anything. It's a nice, decent front grip area. And then you've got like some rounded off rings just here, um, slightly narrow with uh, the ring section in the middle. And then we go into the start of the taper that has like a micro grip section where the Bulls logo is pretty much just slightly forward of centre, but I would say, um, but it's more that like the centre section um, adds a nice grip zone for mid grippers. It's not too grippy. The actual grooves in between aren't too deep, so you can feel it, but you're not catching at all. And then we go into the main tapered section with a standard ring grip. Um, again, it's square cut, but they're not like a sharp square cut, so you're not catching again. The grooves are a decent width apart. I can feel the grip as I'm pushing on it, but as it's on taper, you've got a nice like push point there as well. And then we have a smooth tapered section here down to the ball's stem. The actual dart, the balance feels slightly forward, obviously, um, because it is going to be wider at the front. Um, but it's a decent grip area and a decent length. So you get in sort of like a nice sort of like push point if you're a rear or mid gripper, which is really, really cool. Uh, measurements on this, we've got the 24 gram. It's 52 millimeters in length and 6.75 millimeters at the widest point. So again, a decent width dart so you can get a lot of grouping. My only concern is with these like rings on the front on the taper, it might catch a little bit on flights. Hopefully we don't get too many deflections or damage our flights too bad. But what we'll do is we'll head on over to the board and we'll give it a go. Okay, so we're over in the dart room and we got the Bulls Dusen Fan Bode Edition 2 darts. Looking forward to giving them a go. I always like a sort of like tapered dart or a scallop dart. Gives me a really nice push point. A little bit concerned with the sort of like grooves at the front. Hopefully I don't get any deflections off the flights. But I'm going to have a couple of throws so I can get used to them before going into our practice routine. So let's see how we get on. Starting off straight, a little bit of a wobble. Oh. Pulled that wide. 81. That was me, not the dart. I think a slightly smaller setup might help me out a little bit on this. And a nice steady 60. They're going straight enough, so 
yeah, I think we should be good to go straight into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Oh, a little bit pulled. 125. Left ourselves just 76. And there we go in two darts. Nice start there. Five darts. Really, really happy with that. They flew really, really well. I, I love the fact that they're ever so slightly front weighted, but not much really. It's almost in the middle. But they flew through the air really, really nice. Adjusting the setup might help me to be a little bit more consistent, but the grip itself felt really, really nice. So let's go have a final thought. Okay, i done it in five darts. I felt fantastic throwing these. It worked really, really well. Flew through the air nice, and I got a nice, clean, consistent release with that grip. Talking about grip, I'm giving it a grip rating of two. I was holding on the taper with the standard ring grip. Worked really, really well for me. I had a nice push point, and as you know, I like scallops and tapers because it gives me a nice, good push in the dart because I don't throw especially hard myself. Um, I reckon if you were holding nearer the front, it'd be a little bit more grippy. But obviously, where I was, a grip rate in a two works out really, really well. Um, price point for this is £74.95. I think that's a great price point, especially for players' darts. You can end up paying extortionate money for some of the players' darts nowadays. This is dead smack, right where it needs to be for the type of dart it is and all the work that's gone into it. And the weights come in 23, 24 and 25 gram. So a nice steady range, that's pretty much dead smack in the middle of what most people are throwing nowadays. Most probably would have been better to have a slightly heavier, heavier dart, but that would have made it thicker and less likely to get nice tight grouping as well. And I did get some good grouping on this. Um, and I was quite shocked that with those extra rings on the, the front taper of the ball nose, I didn't get any deflections off the flights and it didn't damage it too much. That was one of my main concerns. Um, if you've got a set of these or you're looking at getting set or you've got any questions or anything, head on down to the comment section and let us know. I try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you haven't already, head on over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv. There's lots of stuff on there, whether you've got five minutes or half an hour. You can check out some darts that you like. There's articles and player information and everything. So there's something for everyone. Make sure you tick subscribe and tick notification as well. We've got lots coming up in the future, and not just darts. We do other stuff as well. Something that might take your fancy. And as always, come back, check us out again soon. Bye.